In this video, we are going to take a look at the CAMP test. I'm not going to go through the process of setting up the CAMP test, but rather just interpreting it. Uh, the way it's been set up, on it's uh, on a sheep blood auger, just a regular blood auger plate, 5%. And uh, it's been set up two ways on this plate. Now, when you set this up, um, what you want to do is you want to either make a lawn or a streak of some kind, and then uh, you can, as they did on this plate, uh, streak for isolation. But what the point is, is that you have the organism. Let me get my camera in focus here. Okay. So you have the organism, you can see the lawn here. What you do is, this is the camp disc, and you put it next to, but not quite touching, where the organism is. Now, what I've done here, what's happened here is, there we also have a camp reagent, which is the liquid. And I went ahead and put a couple drops of this on, and then put it in the incubator. So when you have... When you're running the CAMP test, basically what you're looking for is this enhanced zone of hemolysis. Now, group B, or Streptococcus agalactiae, is beta hemolytic. It's not as hemolytic, beta hemolytic, as, for example, uh, Strep pyogenes group A, but you can definitely see here this halo of clear uh, hemolysis around the colonies. So this uh, plate has been able to incubate for uh, between uh, 24 and 48 hours, and you can see this enhanced zone of hemolysis where the disc is and also where the reagent, the camp reagent that I put on. So this would be interpreted as a positive camp test.